The match had to be delayed to clear the long queues of fans outside the stadium. When the game started, the atmosphere was electric and in true derby fashion, there was no love lost. In the end, it was a Harare derby that stayed true to its reputation. Caps United's Joe Ngozo kept up a fine performance with a goal for the archives. And Dynamo striker Simba Nili counted that just before the breather. This was a game where Dynamos were parading their mid-season acquisitions and coach Tondela Indiraya was convinced some of them gave Dimbare the lifeline. We brought in um, some bit of experience into our team and um, I, I thought they did well but of course clearly you can see that um, uh, some, some of them still lacks uh, fitness. For Caps United, Phineas Bamusi was brutal on the right wing. Wango do left an impression difficult to ignore. Caps United coach Lloyd Chitembe, a legend of many Harari derbies, derived satisfaction from the overall great show by both teams. It was a very good game, especially for, for, for those that were watching. Yeah, congratulations to both sets of players. I think they, they really applied themselves, they gave the fans what they always wanted in terms of the hunger was there. Caps United goalkeeper Prosper Jugumba was a bundle of nails for the 2016 champions. On another day, he could have given this away. It happens. It's good. There's a draw, there's a win, there's a loss. And so we managed to come out with a draw. So with the 87th Harari Derby done, Caps United maintained their third place with 27 points, while Dynamos remained mid-table with 20 points after 15 games. Reporting for ZTN Sport, I'm Govech Gada in Harare.